Hey, what's going on YouTube? Twitchy back with some Awakened Chaos content. Today's video, we're going to be diving into Season 5 of Real Time Arena. It just released. We took a two-week break. I hope you guys are all doing well, but we are back testing some buffed heroes as well as seeing some nerfed heroes in Real Time Arena. So if you guys do like this video, make sure you thumbs up as well as you subscribe so you see my future videos. And let's get started. The season just started, we took like a two week break, so I might be a little rusty. I haven't really done any matches lately, well, not real matches, I did want to see if they changed the format, so I just queued up real quick and then exited it out, but I, I've got nine placement matches to do, currently haven't won a single match yet. Um, this season is going to be called Vengeance Season for anybody curious, they also upgraded the season rewards I believe. So if you go over here, we go over to ranking, or or the game can just freeze because you guys know how well Awakened Chaos Era plays. I don't know about you, but for some reason it always acts up to, on me. Uh, I am using LD Player. If it feels a little better for any other emulator that you guys are using, please let me know down below. So if we go to season ranking, this is going to show everybody's ranks, of course. Not many people have pushed too high. Shout out to 89p3. Most of these guys are in Minutemen. So far we see we see Longshot, we see Dop, we see Cloud, we see Let. Let isn't a Minutemen, but a lot of strong players up here. Zakiro. Yeah, shout out to Minutemen. Shout out to all you guys already pushing RTA too. But it looks like they changed the rewards just a tad bit. It also looks like we have a Nero skin on our hands. Oh my gosh, hold on. Can we take a peek at this? I wonder if it's going to let us preview. Most of the time, like, as soon as they come out with the RTA season, you can't actually check out the skin other than during loading screens. That's kind of unfortunate, but if this, I'm pretty sure this is a Nero skin. Uh, and honestly, I'm like a huge fan of their RTA skins too, so I'm sure they're just gonna, they're gonna pop off with this one. This is gonna be definitely worth pushing for. And once again, you gotta push for diamond if you want the upgraded skin, and then platinum if you just want the base skin. I think both look pretty well. Hopefully we can see it in one of these loading screens, but it does look like they added a legendary book to the season rewards for anybody that does finish gold or higher. So that's nice. I don't think it's exactly what everyone was wanting. You know, I don't think it was the amount of books not everyone wasn't really looking forward to one book for a 60 day season. I think if anything, people are really anticipating maybe even half a book every week, every other week. That'd be nice. Just uh, something a little more. This is a nice start in the direction, but I definitely think it needs to be um, reworked a little bit more. Just because right now there's not really a huge reason, reason to participate in RTA and I feel like if they just boosted gave the rewards a little bump then we'd see a lot more people playing the queue times wouldn't be as long but guys we only have like 30 minutes so let's let's start some matches okay let's start some matches first actual match of the week for season five vengeance season sky duel real time arena live arena whatever you guys want to call it i'm hoping that the queue doesn't take too long since we're super low you know we only have zero points so far Alrighty, it looks like we have our third opponent. Can we actually make it into uh, into the draft phase? Yes, we do. Nice. No command errors, nothing. So we do go with the Ralph Band just because I feel like he's a really oppressive mitigation hero. He kind of counters my playstyle heavily, so I just want to get him out of the way. And as well as I don't really have him to counter pick with, so it's just really... Um, Typically, your, your pre-ban is just banning the most OP hero that you don't have um, that kind of counters your composition. Or maybe they're just super nuts, so you just want to get them out of the way right off the rip. So this guy's going with Rosalie. I'm not too sure how I feel about first picking your damage dealer, but we're just going to answer him back with, uh, with a Nero ourselves. I have been loving Nero. I think... Pretty much all of the season heroes are worth investing in. Books, ascensions, you know, level 70, all that good stuff. Who are we going to follow up? Uh, we, we definitely have our options, right? We can go support. I, I'm thinking I'm thinking we try out Tashir. 
is this leaves him open to drafting Halia and Tashir and Nier are both good into a uh, Halia comps, I think. Okay, so this guy is definitely a newer player. Let's uh <laughs> let's try going easy on him then. But not too easy, right? We don't want our third loss. Um let's pull out Rick, our boy Rick. We'll have a fun little Rick showcase and then we'll pull out some um buffs for our damage dealers. I really like Tashir because she kinda does it all, but she's not like a best for one thing she's just a jack of all trades so it's really really nice she does speed cleanse uh damage buffs whereas shane he he's all about the damage increase for my damage dealers really been enjoying him as well as if you have his a5 he gives you another life uh he's he's definitely growing on me for sure so this player is going garnet my last pick could be Hmm, my last pick could be Royce, I think. And I said I'm going easy on him, but um, we're not trying to lose our third match, okay? Who's our band gonna be? Um, I'm thinking we just go with his lowest leveled hero, which is Garnet, just so we can maybe let the fields be a little more even. And then this is what I was talking about, guys. This is the Nero skin. The basic one's on the left, the upgraded one's on the right. I think they both look fantastic. Let me know what you guys think about them. I I think Nero's base skin already looks so good, so I was kind of curious what they were gonna do to make it even better. And it looks like uh it looks like they do not disappoint. So Rick, I do have him speed tuned pretty fast. I have him built on triple raider. He did just get a huge buff, so this is a great time to test him out. Um, who are we going to run into? All of his damage dealers are slower than my team, so really it doesn't matter too much. I'm curious, do we do we hit? No, okay, okay. I thought we were going to get lucky and just be able to snipe Alessi right off the rip, but it doesn't even matter because Nero's going to go. The sheer skills 2 into Nero, speed buffs him, crit damage buffs him. He's going to ult up and then be able to essentially one shot one kill everybody and then royce is gonna be able to clean it up and there we go we have our third match our our first win of today's video not too shabby all righty does look like we have our fourth opponent nice 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 so once again i like to go with the old trusty ralph band really it's it's between ralph it was between a Frody. shout out to all you a users okay I feel like she was kind of killed with this recent balance patch, but to be honest, I, I, I'm not really upset about it just because, um, they did the balance patch after season for RTA and typically most PVP games like to change up the meta by doing that. So I feel like, um, also she was super busted too. I, I would have her one before solo me quite often. And she hard countered literally any damage dealer that crit where there's only you know a few units in the game that don't crit so if you just start your draft off with those damage dealers then you're already um hindering yourself putting yourself at a disadvantage so i feel like the the nerf was definitely much needed maybe they could have left her counter attacking two times per round and i feel like she still would have been fine but um it's kind of unfortunate but i also feel like it was also Pretty needed. She was a menace. She was super strong. When the when the number one player is first picking her versus his A6 LD legendaries, then that definitely shows you how strong she was. Okay, so we it looks like we're going against the same guy. Let's just botchy rick him. And then last we'll just uh last last really doesn't matter too much. We could just go with Nero still, but maybe we try something else. Someone else out. I think Fire Maliza, he went with Halia. Um, the, these guys really don't look too built, so I'm just gonna ban the Halia. Once again, we're trying to let this guy kind of have a fair playing field, but at the same time, it's really shitty um, when seasons do reset for new mid game, early late game players because everyone's at the same rank. You know, you're going to be hitting a bunch of whales, some Kraken, some free-to-play players. Everyone's just thrown into the same pool until they, you know, do push a little bit. Oh, we get deflected. That's 
that's super sad and we are lagging a little bit but we should be fine so Ro rosalie rosalie is actually super good and i think she's probably um for anybody you know paying attention right now i would say rosalie is the number one legendary to book early mid game or early late game she there's a lot of value in putting resources into her right now she is a monster for wood chaos rift she's also really good for pvp and then she's great for um, other pve content like bat wolf or faction crypts i actually invested in mine i've got her a5 15 out of 15 for books and she does not disappoint She's an amazing hero, so I definitely think it's worth considering building a Rosalie if you have pulled her. Wow, these Qs, these Qs are, are pretty fast. I like this a lot. So this is, uh, what, the second day with RTA being back, so I assume it should be a little more popping. As well as, you know, we are super low in the rank, so should be hitting a few more players. I'm hoping that we're not gonna hit the same guy this entire video. Okay, so we see the Baron. We see the Afroni. Okay, so now we get to see whether or not Afroni nerf was uh, was too much to handle. I think most people are going to be recalling her, just so they can get those resources back and then maybe reinvest for um, Chaos Rifts. Because currently, I think Chaos Rift is um, is the move versus investing in RTA or PVP units, which is kind of unfortunate because a lot of people already invested in their PVP units during the downtime of. Uh, you know, not, not much content being popped out. Alright, so we are going to, once again, we're picking our supports. We've got one of our damage dealers. And I feel like, besides just damage, Nero brings a lot of utility once he's A5. A lot, a lot. Okay, so this guy is looking like he's going to try to cleave me. But it's really going to just come down to a speed race almost where if i bring in rick you know rick is once again triple raider uh he's about 320 ish speed i have him about 320 just because i want him to move after shane so it's a really nice combination who do we go now i'm thinking we can do like um we can do an Aurea. Aurea is a good counter cleave. She's gonna be able to taunt two of his heroes. I could have even went with a counter control hero, just anticipating like his control pick as he did with Tia. So that means I could have drafted like Kelowna or Royce. Those are always solid options. And then I'm actually just gonna ban, I'm gonna ban this girl, okay? I, I feel like this guy, um, I feel like this guy might be a mid game player, so we're just gonna give him a little bit more of a chance. We're not gonna take out a Froni. Now remember guys, post a Froni patch, before she had literally infinite counter attacks, so she was always able to stack her rage and basically be unkillable. But now as soon as you pop her counter, she's gonna be a little um a little helpless for the rest of the round. So let's see. I'm actually kinda curious, can we pop this Afroni with uh with Rick? Can we pop this Afroni with Rick? 16k, there's no way we don't. He just got buffed to where now if you have his A5, he gains 30% increased damage while he's in stealth. And they did give him 20% more ignore defense on his ult. So we should be able to kill her easily. Yeah, oh my gosh. That, that was, oh my gosh, that was a lot of damage. That was like 40k damage. But once again, I have my Rick kind of built like that to go against in case someone's bringing in mitigation of some sort. Otherwise, we, we really didn't need Shane. But it's better to be safe than sorry, right, guys? Better to be safe than sorry. I've, I've become really fond of the standard draft where you just bring in your supports. Maybe it's mitigation, at least two damage dealers, and then... Your last pick is kind of a flex pick based off your opponent's draft. And so far, guys, we're doing good. Three wins right off the rip. We started off a little struggle bussing, but we're, we're, we're back, okay? 
And the queues are really fast. I feel like now's now's the time to start playing RT8 if you guys want. Okay, hold on. The queues stop for some reason. Okay. Looks like we found a match. Awesome. I'm curious, is it gonna be the same guy? So so far we fought the 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 Baron, the five star level 50 Garnet. All right, so we are seeing a little bit of lag. It's okay though. So Rosalie banned, someone banned Rosalie. This might be like a mid to uh, mid to early game player then. Okay, as well as going with the EFD. That's super interesting because EFD to get buffed. She now has a joint attack on her ult and then if you have her A2, she has increased attack bonus for her team or increased attack aura. I'm not sure if she's, gonna be super viable in pvp even after those buffs just because of her base speed and it's you know not the best unfortunately but i'm actually super curious so she gives bonus turns i want to bring in jabez here i want to see like who jabez is gonna ult is he gonna ult anybody as well as you know he's gonna be great into this holy armor virgil should be able to one shot him this guy is just going full ld on me huh okay okay we can we can still do this though. We need maybe potentially another damage dealer, right? Which I'm kind of leaning towards Bachi or Garanol, just because he's got a light nick, so I need someone that's gonna be able to tank that bolt. So I'm yeah, I'm definitely more leaning towards Bachi. Okay, and then this guy does follow up with... He follows up with a Blackhorn and a Molhex. Interesting. You know, I've always wanted Molhex to be good. And I'm just not sure what they could do to him. If they if they made him like Galleon from Summoner's War, where he did an AoE defense down plus his attack up, I feel like he'd be great, honestly. He'd be amazing setup. Okay, last but not least, we're just gonna... We might have drafted too many damage dealers here, but I have a feeling that he's going to ban one of the DPS and not ban Shane, which is absolutely okay, right? Because who is our good? Our ban might be, um, might be Blackhorn. Just because I'm, I'm like 90% positive that we might outgear this guy. So once again, we're trying to give an even playing field. I don't know about... I don't know what's going on though. It feels super buggy for some reason. So we're in our loading screen, waiting for opponent to fetch data. It does feel a little buggy for this RTA. Super long loading screen too. Oh my gosh. We've got 20 minutes and a dream to finish our RTA first day pushing. And also let me know guys, what compositions are you enjoying? Um, are you trying out any of the buffed heroes in this recent balance patch? We know Alun got reworked a little bit, Rick got reworked, well not really reworked, but he got a huge buff. Thor got a huge buff I feel like. Once people start running their book Thors... Oh yeah, I can see it already. Okay, hold on. Real quick. He did go with the Shane band by the way. So he left all my damage dealers in there. Most of his guys aren't super tanky though, so I feel like, you know, maybe we just go for the Holy Armor Virgil snipe. Can we kill? Nice, we do kill. That was about what, 18 to 20k? And there you go. <laughs> like I said earlier, this guy felt like a mid, mid game player, so a lot of his guys were slower, which um, he might, want to in the future draft like a speed buffer or someone maybe some mitigation so we can start playing that turn two gameplay but once again we're going to go with the ralph ban he goes with the baron ban very interesting maybe he faced that baron player that we uh we saw earlier okay so we are going with nero and then also um anyone here Praised Urzag, have you used him? How do you feel about him post buff? They did change his 
special ability just i mean they didn't really do too much to him they buffed him quite a bit at times they changed his special ability it now requires one less rage to activate which i think is actually a wonderful change one it means you don't have to bring units that do counters or bonus attacks to proc his uh his spinning wheel of death every single round and two it means that you have more opportunity to proc his special ability more times per round if you do have people that are doing counters or bonus turns or any of that kind of stuff. Jeez, oh my gosh, we have, we've basically frozen now. Okay, okay, we are back. Um, so he goes with the Brand of Brilliant, he goes with the Flarence, I'm gonna go with the Rick, of course, and then I'm gonna go with Shane. My draft lineup isn't like five head super try hardy i'm not really drafting how i'm supposed to of course but we are super low in the ranks so it really doesn't matter too much and i feel like flarians is gonna be great into this team they got buffs rosalie starts with block, uh, block buffs thalia if it's on guard starts with buffs and then brand the brilliant if it's on guard it's gonna start with buffs which is just gonna increase my team speed even more that's always welcome but what are we going to do for last pick? What are we going to do? Maybe, 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 maybe Bachi. I think Bachi is a wonderful damage dealer. Once you have him A5, once you have him... Okay, all right. I guess we're picking Brand. Hold on. <laughs> Never mind. Scratch that about Bachi. He's, he's still a great damage dealer, though. That was really weird. I, I'm almost positive that we <laughs> clicked OK when we were on Bachi, but whatever. We're just rolling with it today, all right? First day RTA, we're expecting a lot of bugs. You know what I mean? We're expecting a lot of bugs. We're expecting this lag, this craziness, but it should, um, yeah. I don't know, maybe I've got to hard reset my PC once this RTA session's over. I do want to apologize if it is super laggy for you guys, because it's extremely laggy on my side. Like, uh, we're at 23 seconds right now, and yeah. Apparently we're in the match. Apparently we're in the match, okay. And it looks like he banned out Rick, which is absolutely okay, because we can just go ahead. This is why I recommend at least drafting two damage healers, just so... It, you know, if you're drafting one damage healer, they just ban out your damage healer and then can kind of uh, win you out that way. Whereas if you have a bare minimum of two, you'll always you'll always have damage going into the match. You always have that win condition. And there we go. My Nero is invested in. He does have books. He's got pretty solid gear. He's on an Avery set for anybody wondering. I really like Avaris on him. Some people do Dragon Scale for like the extra tankiness. Kind of similar to like um, Dark Nick or shoot, even uh, that light Lego. What's his name? Zoltan. Zoltan. Everyone wants him to be buffed, even though he's he's kind of an insane turn two hero. Like people, I don't know if you guys have seen, but people are clearing Mythic Tower with uh, with solo Zoltan. That's how good he is. Okay, so this guy going with the Tashir pick, I like it, I really do, but the only downside about like first picking Tashir is there are a lot of counters to her. One being Alessia, two being Dark as Rina, three being Godfrey, Vance, and I'm sure there's, definitely sure there's more. I'm just gonna go ahead and just straight up draft. We're gonna let him know our game plan right off the rip, it doesn't even matter. We're going, we're going cleave, okay? It's the only way to go. I mean, that's my, it's not the only way to go, but it is one of my favorite play styles. So he's going Ashlyn, which means, okay, this is a, this is where Alessia's gonna get a lot of her value here. I'm almost betting that he's planning on banning Alessia because Alessia is superb against Ashlyn and Alessia is superb against Tashir too. So let's see, let's see. Maybe we can, try to mess with him a little bit and bring in another force ban so then he's you know, kind of stuck a little bit but let's see what his third and final pick is gonna be rosalie okay 
Alrighty, Rosalie is not a bad one. We're gonna do Shane, we're gonna go with Nero, and he's just gonna back out of the match, okay. Who was this? All right, Mike, I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry, but guys, like I said, we were, uh, we started off not too hot, not too shabby, but we're, we're making our way. Okay, so we do get first pick on our side. This is where I typically just like to snag Nero. And then for you guys wondering about Nero's build, how is he one-shotting? How is he doing so much damage? Maybe I could pull it up if it's not super laggy. I, you know, probably can't, unfortunately. Okay, there we go. So he's on Avarice, crit damage, uh, speed boots, attack percent necklace. So crit cap, of course, 325 crit damage, and then precision. Uh, typically for Nero builds, I like to aim for at least 4k attack, 3.5k, 3500 um, defense, yeah. So this guy's going with, <laughs> I wonder if he's debating me, is he just trying to do like a one star battle right now, maybe? Ooh, he is, let's see, let's see if I have what it takes, so I've got, I do have a, I've got Sima over here. I don't know if Sima will be a sweet pick. I do have Lunar Meliza. We might just end up losing this one, but it is what it is, right? Gotta have fun once in a while. So this guy's going for an unbuilt battle. <laughs> I'm kind of looking, I'm, yeah, I don't know if you guys are Summoner's War players, but I'm kind of looking forward to like the future, hoping that Ace implements special seasons for Real, Real Time Arena. Like Summoner's War has got this game mode where you can only pick X amount of stars and you know five stars are worth five stars four stars are four stars three stars are three stars I'm interested how they'd be able to implement that here but it just brings different variety for team comps and just adds some fun to the game maybe like an epics only or RGB only game mode what other game modes do you think ace could do because I feel like there's a lot of opportunity absolutely just some fun special leagues it doesn't have to be a permanent thing it could just be a cool little event okay so he's going with the cc action very interesting i think i think i might just go sema maybe have any of you guys used sema 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 she looks to me like a PvP focused hero. As well as, yeah, I mean, maybe we can look at her kit after this video too. But um, she just looks like an anti CC hero. Maybe if she's A5, she could be used in one of the, the rifts. So that's quite a bit of investment. Okay, so we're just gonna ban this level 49. What? Why does this guy. This guy was trying to give me a free win? Are you serious? Well, I appreciate you, kind sir. Not all heroes wear capes, guys. Not all heroes wear capes. Okay, so we are about to hit our 10th rank match. Um, guys, if you have done all your placements, let me know where you got put. I'm curious if there have been players that have been placed in gold. Like maybe you hit all 10 wins. And these queues are super duper fast. I'm loving it. This is like the best thing about a fresh season. One, like, you know, obviously you're lower in the points, so there's more people to match against. Two, I just love non-long queues. Before, uh, towards the end of last season, I was hitting like 5, 10, 15, 20 minute queues, and it was just tough finding any real-time arena gameplay. Felt like I had to spend hours uh, just queuing isn't really fun okay so this guy's going with the garinol i got the first pick in nero draft as always the old trusty is like what i like to call him old trusty okay so garinol dark is rena uh i might just go with royce i really really do 
love the uh, counter control that voice brings to the table. And it does let me bring in some heroes with support abilities because he's just going to be able to cleanse her silences regardless. So I am thinking that we might just go with the Tashir here. Ooh, is this guy going to be cleaving me? Potentially? He's got the Ciara on the third pick. This might even open him into like a Fire Melisa Light Nick draft if he knows about that team composition, but let's see. Let's see if he knows the tech. Okay, Aubrey, I mean, really, really speedy. Potentially, we could still see a Light Nick draft here. I think I might. Well, go up. So we definitely want to bring in our support, of course. Got two damage dealers. Royce even does a decent amount of damage himself. Although I do have him built on a supportier build. Okay, okay. So he does go with the Thor last pick. All uh, right. So our ban this time around is most definitely going to be Dark as Rina. She kind of hard counters my supports. It's, uh, yeah, it is what it is. He bans one of my damage dealers, right? Or did he ban Royce? Oh yeah, he banned, no, he, he banned Tashir. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So Tashir was my speed buffer, but since most of these guys are on speed boots, we really shouldn't have too much of an issue moving before our opponent. Gonna buff up Rick because I'm nearly positive that Nero's gonna be able to wipe these guys. Anything below 20k is uh, it's probably dead from Nero. Holy cow, I don't know if you guys just saw that damage, but that was like like 50k from from Rick. So I think post Rick buff. Guys, post Rick buff. I mean, obviously our the, the people we are fighting against aren't the best players in the world by any means, but we're seeing the potential of Rick's damage, right? Maybe he's gonna be able to fulfill that counter Nero where he could just one-shot Nero or any water damage dealer in general. I kind of like to build him super fast so he has that sniper role and I feel like with the recent buffs he fulfills that role even more so because I felt like his I feel like his role was sniper post or pre patch he just didn't have enough damage to confirm kills and then get his ult back and just be able to cycle it that way whereas now he has that 30% increased damage once stealth that's always amazing plus the increased ignore defense i feel like he's in a good spot now that was my main issue when when rick came out i one of my main um critiques of him was his low multipliers especially on his passive this thing had like a hundred percent multiplier and this thing had i think this has gotten increased over patches but this thing had like a 200 so he just was not doing anything it was it was almost better off um going with like an AoE DPS of some sort or honestly even Andre. Andre he's another like sniper speedy type role. Uh, he has a little more utility than Rick does for sure but I think I think Rick's sniper role has just increased with the recent patch even. So, so this guy's going with Alessia, this guy's going with Holy Yolanda. Personally I see Holy Yolanda, I instantly lock in Shane A5. He is a sweet counter for Holy Yolanda. Obviously, uh, investment, kind of a bit, but definitely worth it. So, Nero does kill... Nero does kill Alessia. Shane does counter Holy Yolanda a little bit. Who else can I bring in for Holy Yolanda? I mean, I guess if he's bringing in his LDs... Can I bring in my LDs, maybe? No, nah, we'll just bring in Tashir. We'll, we'll go safe. Um, we'll just wait it out until his draft ends finished a little bit so he oh my gosh so dark is rena to counter my supports although we are we're we're in good hands though guys we have royce royce is going to be able to negate dark as rena plus Oria. that or he's going to have to ban her and then last but not least i think hmm do you think should our last pick be we can go with Rick, but that means we are probably banning. Yeah, no, let's go with Rick. Let's do it. 
So Rick can snipe Baron. We're gonna be banning out his ban out his Alessia. Yep, perfect. Perfect bans on on both sides. I mean he had to ban out Nero, I had to ban out Alessia. Otherwise he was kinda gambling into the speed contest, right? So Dark is Brina. She activates from Tashir right off the way. Royce is just gonna cleanse everybody. It doesn't even matter. Rick's this is actually super interesting. I didn't know this, but Rick's stealth gets applied immediately afterwards. So she doesn't actually bring him out of stealth. Kind of cool. Um, now here is where we have to, we kind of have to go into Baron, right? And then he, if he ults, Shane's going to be able to eat the ult. Nice. Shane eats the ult, comes back to life. Always amazing. Like I said, Shane A5 counter. Super, super, super duper nice. I'm curious, guys, do we kill this Dark Azrena with Royce? And we do. So that's a really nice thing. Like I said earlier, I don't have a DPS Royce, but I did stack a lot of defense on him. So he does scale pretty decently, especially when he buffs himself up with defense and you know, some control effects are applied on the uh, the, the battlefield because then he's able to increase his ultimate damage after that. So, so far, I, I think we've got this in the bag once again. We do also have True Strike on Royce, so that's when he does his maximum damage because I don't have him on a crit build or crit damage or any of that stuff. So right here, uh, Rick should be able to just kill Actually, Royce should be able to kill here. Rick or Royce is just going to be able to finish fully Yolanda. And as soon as she moves, Rick is going to counter and we're going to be GG. So we do have time for one more match. I'm curious, do we... Are you going to let us do it, sir? Oh, man. He goes with the skill, too. Trying to rope us a little longer, but we do come out on top. GG, man. So we're in silver so far. The grind... The grind is grinding. Uh, we are about to hit our last win for the week. Well, actually, no, we're about to hit our 10th win for the week. We gotta hit, hit 20. You don't want to maximize rewards. I also might want to check to see if they change any of those rewards, too. You know, we did look in the beginning of the video at the updated season rewards where we got an extra legendary book for gold placements or higher. But I'm curious if they changed the weekly at all. So this guy is going with Winstrix. I'm just gonna go with the, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with Tashir. I think Tashir is a lovely reactive counter for like any buffer or pretty much any time you're considering speed contesting. I think Winstrix, Tashir, Halia, uh, regular Hazel should all be considered. Definitely. And then as well as, I mean, A5 Nero too, right? A5 Nero, that 15 speed reduction on your opponent is huge. So he's going control. It looks like he's going to try to cleave me. There's a lot of cleavers, I've, I've noticed. A lot of cleavers. I, I mean, I'm all about turn one gaming. I think with the Afroni nerf, turn one has definitely been buffed. Absolutely been buffed. Afroni was like the menace for turn one gaming. You know, of course, if you had, unless you had Alessia or Jabez just always ready to pick unlock, specifically tuned to counter those. <coughs> excuse me, those. Those are fronies, but okay, last but not least, who are we gonna go with? Let's go with actually let's go with Royce. But yeah, I do feel like ever since a Frony did get nerfed, people have recalled their Fronies one, which means you know, people don't have their Fronies built, so they're not gonna be used. And then two, her just not being able to be killed. Now that she is able to be killed, I feel like people are, you know definitely going to be recalling her not using her as much because that was just the main issue with her she just was literally unkillable literally okay so he does go with the rosalie the tia he's got his damage right here although i think you know if we just banned out his his control because i think he has to ban out royce we should be in good hands Gee, we can even do like a, a fire Meliza pick here too and this will throw him off guard because fire Meliza is going to be able to contest his wind tricks he might be like hey i don't like that i'm going to ban the wind tricks out but it doesn't really matter because we're just going to take out that teal like i said earlier we ban the control he bans the anti-control we should be in good hands now because wind tricks 
should be killed. Actually, hold on, hold on. You should be able to kill this Baron. You should be able to kill this. Who do we want to kill? Who do we want to kill? I I really just want to see like the damage potential of Rick. So let's see if we can kill this. Nice, and we do kill 20k Lunar Meliza on a triple Raider build. So not Assassin. I like it. I like it a lot. That was my main issue. Before the buff, Rick probably would not have killed that Lunar Meliza, unfortunately. But we do speed buff ourselves because he does ult with uh, with wind tricks there, and then we are able to just clean up. So there we go. We have ten matches. Not all ten matches were caught on camera to on today's video, unfortunately, just because. Well, I mean, yeah, they kind of were, I guess. We hit ten wins today. Two losses. The two losses were kind of gimmicky, of course, lagged out, unfortunately. But guys, let me know how you are enjoying this uh, season five so far. And let me know if you guys like this skin. I think it's, I'm a big fan. I'm a huge fan. Make sure you guys are pushing up. If you have Nero, if you don't have Nero, this is gonna make it worth it. So as always guys, if you do like today's video, make sure you're subscribed and I will see you guys in the next one.